President Tekufado has said again that he will not interfere in chieftaincy issues in Boko or any part of the country. He said his government will not in any way benefit from chieftaincy disputes or chieftaincy related conflicts. Receiving the Bokunaba and chiefs of the traditional area, the Flagstaff House, President Akufuado stressed the importance of continued peace at Boku in the overall development of the area. The overlord of the Boku traditional area, Naba Asigri Abuguragu, was at the presidency with his divisional chiefs and the paramount queen mother. The Ketsi call was to thank the president for two things. First, for not interfering in Boku chieftaincy matters, and secondly, for continuing with projects started by the previous administration. The president, in his thank you tour after the elections, promised not to interfere in chieftaincy matters, as such interference usually threatens the peace in the area. Again, the president has fulfilled his promise to continue with the Boku Bogatanga Road and Tamni Dam project for agribusiness. The spokesperson for the Boku Naba, Naba Moses Abari Apiali, praised President Kufado for policies he has implemented so far. He called for the creation of new districts in the traditional area. During your recent regional tour to the Upper East region, you declared at Tempani on the 15th of October 2017 that the Tempani constituency will be decoupled from Garu to be made a new district. We know it will certainly come to fruition, as we know you are the one who do, will do and will always continue to do. Today, we wish to inform you that Boku West District is also ripe to be divided into two districts and two constituencies with the capital of the second to be at Binaba. We are hoping that if you verify the facts you will not disappoint us. The president called on both sides of the Boko conflict to put the past behind them and let peace prevail in the area. My government has not come here to deal in chieftaincy matters. <laughs> we leave chieftaincy matters to Zugruna and the others who are more suited. But it's important that all sides because one person cannot fight. It takes two people to fight. That all sides continue to exercise restraint and comport themselves so that the peace that we're seeing today in Boku can continue. There's a lot that we have to do together to develop the area and to develop Ghana. Without peace, we cannot do it. The president also encouraged the chiefs to help partner the law enforcement agencies to halt smuggling of fertilizers to neighboring countries. You know that when something good is happening, there's always a few mischievous people, criminal minds who want to use the good things just for their own selfish interests. So that you hear stories that some of the fertilizer is being smuggled across our borders. The people who are doing that, they're enriching themselves, but they're doing so at our expense, your expense and my expense. So I'm asking you, the traditional rulers in the area, to be part of the law enforcement agencies in the area and make sure that smuggling doesn't take place of these important items. President Ikufuado stressed government's resolve to fulfill all its promises, adding that those promises were not mere rhetoric.